What's up guys, meet Giuseppe. He is my uh, dog. He was born with a cleft and uh, I've had him for a long time and when he was born he almost died but we saved his life by bottle feeding him. We took him to the vet recently just to make sure that there was nothing wrong with him, you know, that he was, he was okay and he wasn't having breathing problems or anything wrong with his sinus and these dogs often do have issues and stuff but you know he seems to be doing fine, you know. He wasn't supposed to make it, he almost passed away, so he's here with us. But the reason I'm letting you guys know this is because this video includes dogs. And uh, I think it's a pretty sad video, and so you guys stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome back to Good Cop, Bad Cop. I have a couple questions for you guys. Do cops like donuts? Yes. Do cops hook up with each other's wives? Yes. Do cops know the First Amendment of the Constitution? No. And do cops run inside schools to save kids? No. Folks, why are you giving them all that respect if they haven't earned it yet? I have one more question before you watch the video. And at the end of the video, hopefully you guys can give me the answer to that one. But do cops like to shoot dogs? Watch this video. Let me know what you think. Go subscribe to the channel. Let them know I sent you. I'll see you over there. Do you own a pellet gun? Yes, I do. You shoot my dog? Why? Because he's fucking dead, asshole. What? You shot my fucking dog? You shot my fucking dog? What was your dog doing in my yard? Our yard's right fucking there. Your dog's We're back right. there doing yard work. We're fucking trimming trees. He wandered over here and you shoot him? You fucking killed him with a pellet gun? In a goddamn neighborhood? Are you a fucking cop? What department do you work for? As I'm editing this video, I just realized that there is an update to the video. You definitely want to stay to the end. I won't make you wait to the end to give you the spoiler. This deputy no longer works for the county and he's also been charged, folks. He is related to somebody that works at the prosecutor's office. Watch to the end so you guys don't miss the news update. He shot you wanna... my fucking dog. Are you property. okay with that? Get off Get the off fucking property. property. He shot my fucking dog. What's your look, name? Look, What's your my name? name's Ryan Keener. Oh, yeah, Ryan dog. Keener. What department do you work for, Ryan Keener? I work for St. Charles County Sheriff's Department. Good. You'll hear from me. Okay, I'm, I'm proud of it. You're proud of shooting my dog, Ryan no, Keener? I didn't say that. Let me tell you something. No, you did say it. You're proud of it. What do you got, a pit bull? No, it's not a fucking pit bull. What kind of fucking it's dog a goddamn is it? Spanish why, is it, why isn't your fucking dog chained up, buddy? Because I don't fucking chain up a dog when I'm standing right there in my own goddamn okay, well, yard. Okay, keep your fucking dog in your well, own Well, he's dead yard. now, asshole. You're gonna. Lose what do you want me to do? I want you. What do you want me to do? No, what are you gonna get me fucking fired? Get yeah, I'm gonna get you fucking fired. For I want you to fucking apologize. You fucking For shot what? my fucking dog. He's dead. He was dead in two goddamn minutes with a pellet gun in a fucking residential area. You're a fucking asshole! You fucked with the wrong Marine! Call Ross! He'll call you tomorrow. Call you know him. Shot my dog a fucking pellet gun and killed him. Officer Keener with the St. Charles Police Department at 218. Here's his fucking house. He's a Francis House Central grad. I recently did a video. Shot and killed my dog with a fucking pellet gun in a residential neighborhood in my wife's parents' backyard. Yeah! Get done fucked up, asshole! The power of the internet is amazing, folks. You guys work fast. You guys left a lot of comments on their Facebook. I'm going to read one that made a lot of sense from Polarized ENT. It says, shooting a dog on site in a residential area, completely irresponsible. What if it was a trained dog? Help dogs are trained to seek out human help and without even checking the officer shoots it. Absolutely disgusting. I 100% agree. 
where it talked about a dog being on property, attacking other dogs, smaller dogs. And it was something that kept happening over and over again. So when a violent dog came onto a yard and it was killed, I understood. But in this situation, I don't understand at all. The off-duty deputy even said he was proud to have done that. What kind of sick people are we hiring to be in law enforcement? Makes absolutely no sense. Check out this new segment, folks. A St. Charles County Sheriff's deputy resigned after a special prosecutor charged him for shooting and killing his neighbor's dog last month. Former Deputy Ryan Kuhner is charged with animal abuse. That's a misdemeanor. Authorities say a three-year-old rescue dog named Apollo was shot in the lungs with a pellet gun. Apollo came from Spain. St. Charles County Prosecutor Tim Lomar asked for a special prosecutor because Kuhner was a relative or has a relative who works in the prosecutor's office. All right, so as you guys seen, I think it's pretty disgusting what we saw uh, with the uh, deputy shooting, killing that dog, uh, Apollo, the rescue dog from Spain. And um, I don't know, let me ask you guys this. What if somebody would have killed a cop's dog? They go all the way for the dogs, they even have big funerals for them and stuff, right? But I, I am happy that they did charge the deputy. Um, we will keep you guys tuned in, so make sure you guys subscribe and uh, we'll do a follow-up story as soon as we find out more. All right, guys, thank you. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Eric Bacon's channel as well. I will drop the link in the description and the pinned comment. Shout out to all you dog lovers out there. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll make sure to keep you guys posted. See you on the next one. Peace.